Dead Rising was released in 2006, and 10 years later, it's now finally come to the PlayStation 4. But is this zombie-killing infestation worth finally jumping into? Or is this one game from the past that just isn't worth getting? If you're unfamiliar with Dead Rising, you're playing as Frank West, a war journalist who goes to Willamette, Colorado to do an investigation. Once arriving, you find out there's been a giant zombie infestation, and your main objective is to figure out what happened and get out within 72 hours. If you're familiar with Dead Rising, it's the same game as it was 10 years ago. There haven't really been any adjustments made to the core gameplay, especially when it comes to the notoriously bad AI. It's still awful. God awful. I still love this game and loved it way back in the day, but the AI is just as bad. In fact, it may even be worse than I actually remember it while trying to save the game's random civilians. There have been a few tweaks as far as the resolution now being 1080p, and the game aims for 60 frames per second, though I'm not sure if it reaches that at all times. There were definitely some noticeable little hiccups, slowdowns, some graphical glitches, and not just stuff like clipping. I'm talking about the item box glitched out on me on a couple occasions with some weird flickering effect, and even sometimes where it felt like frames were completely skipped during certain sequences. The game also does have some technical issues, as the game did freeze on me on more than one occasion during the course of my gameplay. It's not something that completely turned me away and made me want to stop playing, but it would have been nice if these things had been fixed. Though there is really quick load time, that's one of the big benefits, getting in and out of cutscenes and going through the mall itself takes no time at all. There may have also been a few touch-ups to the textures, but honestly I really didn't notice anything other than changing the resolution and making a bigger picture. I really don't think too much was changed in the graphics department. Honestly, the only thing that's really disappointing as far as the game is concerned still is that it is basically just a remastered port with no new features added. I wasn't expecting much as I haven't seen much added to the re-releases of Capcom's other horror franchise, Resident Evil, with the re-releases of 6, 5, and 4 most recently, but it would have been nice to just have a couple new features, maybe a few new costumes or maybe a special weapon, some behind the scenes or 10th anniversary things, just anything to make this version stand out a little bit more. Honestly, the only real novelty when it comes to this version is the fact you get to play it on a Sony system. Original Dead Rising was Xbox 360 in that awful, terrible port to the Nintendo Wii. This is the first time we get to experience the original Dead Rising on a Sony console. There were a couple other Dead Rising games that made it over to Sony systems, but not the original. So, for that fact, it's pretty cool. Thankfully, the game still had a budget price for its remaster at only $19.99, just like the recent re-releases of the Resident Evil series. If you want to get the game physically, you can just get Dead Rising 1 or Dead Rising 2 eventually on physical disc as well by themselves, and Dead Rising Off the Record is available, but only available digitally. There's also a special 3-pack that you can get with all 3 games that is digital only. The game does thankfully also feature a full trophy list in Platinum. It's actually very similar, if not exactly identical, to the old achievement list back on the Xbox 360. The nightmares came flooding back of trying to get that 7 day survivor, and other favorites like Frank the Pimp are also included. In the end, if you loved Dead Rising way back and you're still a fan of the series now, this may definitely be worth checking out, though it does have a few little minor technical flaws that maybe can get patched down the road just to fix the few little hiccups that I ended up experiencing. If you didn't like the game back then or you've never checked it out, you may want to now dive into Dead Rising, though do so with the caution of, yes, it does have a lot of flaws, especially when it comes to the game's AI. It takes a lot of learning and adapting in order to get better at the game and kind of work around those flaws that are included. I loved Dead Rising back in the day. I played it so much, I was afraid once that Xbox 360 red ring started going around that I was going to destroy my system with how many hours I put into Dead Rising, and I'm enjoying playing through it and messing with it again now, all these years later now on the PlayStation 4. With all that said, I'm going to be giving the re-release just a 5 out of 10, just like I did with Resident Evil 4 recently, because it is a bare-bones remastering without really any new features. Overall, I still think the game is easily a 7 out of 10, if not higher, though those bad AI flaws still, still bug me to this day. But anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.